I haven't seen you in quite some time But you keep appearing in my mind I haven't heard you speak in quite some time But I hear it as a child Good morning guys! I thought this week it would be nice to take you on a little journey of getting back into my groove or finding myself. I feel like I've gotten really lost the past few weeks and built up a lot of like stress and tension and anxiety inside of me that would manifest itself in worries. So last night I had a really good call with one of my closest friends, Mary, and just talked out a lot of the struggles I was having. I think ever since I started looking at YouTube as um, a job or as a way of like sustaining myself financially, I feel like it really shifted how I thought about YouTube in a way that I needed to like grow it and be strategic with everything. But I feel like week by week that has really like built up in a way that's been a bit negative in my own mental health. YouTube has all these freaking analytics that when you post a video, it'll compare the views at every hour with the past 10 videos that you've made. And I feel like these types of stats just create so much anxiety in my mind because it's like constantly forcing you to compare yourself. There's always this sense of pressure and competition with myself and also comparison with other youtubers because of course i watch youtube like i love watching youtube i watch it more than tv anyways i feel like i just had like a mental breakthrough last night i was feeling really stuck but i didn't necessarily know why or how to communicate those feelings so last night i literally wrote in my i wrote in my journal I haven't visited my journal in such a long time but i just wrote how i was feeling like the story of my life at that moment so the past weeks have gotten increasingly more stressful, even on days when I didn't do much work. The state of my mind was a mess. Lost in the numbers, analytics, and performance of my videos, worrying about management, sponsorships, and seemingly to have lost myself in the mix. Trying to make videos that would catch on rap to the algorithm rather than just for myself. I felt like my life was becoming about YouTube rather than YouTube be being about my life. Like, I spent so much time editing my videos, editing my thumbnails, re-editing them. Some of you guys commented being like, bruh, I thought Leah uploaded three new videos because she <laughs> changed her thumbnail three times. Shit like that, that's like, I don't need to be doing that. But then when I look at all these analytics that are like, um, maybe your thumbnail or title isn't as good. And then I'm like, okay, fuck, then I have to go back and do all this shit. And sometimes I think things will come to you more easily if you just release some of that control and anxiety and just let things be as they are but some things like these fucking analytics or like numbers just make it really hard to do that so going forward this week one of the things i want to try to do is to stop looking at that i knew my irritability anxiety shown through overworking weren't sustainable but i didn't know how to stop so that was kind of like the rut that I was feeling. I was like, I knew something was off and not working, but I didn't exactly know what to do about it. Then I had the call. When I was telling her all of these stresses, she was like, you need to remember why you started these videos. Cause I started it like maybe three years ago doing like hauls and lookbooks. And at some point it just felt very empty, but I didn't know exactly what. So I stepped away from it for like two years. This summer, I restarted again and she was like, your videos were just very like calming and relaxing, but you didn't have that intention. You weren't like, oh, I'm gonna make calming, relaxing videos one day. Like I was just doing me, doing the things that I wanted to do because I wanted to find peace and relaxation for myself. I Googled some journaling prompts, really simple one. It just said, this week, I intend to line my life to these three values, feelings, and guided beliefs. They had a very long list of different things and these are my three. Ease, living in the present, releasing unnecessary worries and fear of financial scarcity. But realistically, like I'm very frugal and I keep my 
finance is very very low as you'll see in my real talk finance video like i don't need a lot of money to survive you know so it's like why the heck am i being so anxious about the money i make and i think a lot of it was because i had these long-term goals i was too fixated on like i was like I want to open a cafe one day, I want to have my own cabin or like a and b cabin in the woods. I just want to have these spaces where we can make this like digital community online feel more real in a tangible aspect. Like I want to hang out with you guys in person one day. <laughs> But like, I need to remember that day will come and there's no rush right now. Like now is not the time for me to randomly start a cafe. I know that, I know that in my heart and my intuition. I think there's still so much growth that I need and self-discovery that I have to face before I go into these stages that I think in my head are more like adult things that I want to do in the future. I guess sometimes I just feel like pressed to need to know these things because sometimes in the back of my head I also know that like YouTube probably isn't forever. Knowing myself, I probably get bored of it at some point. Hopefully, I don't wanna say that, erase that, cut, cut that. My content will change essentially because I know that I'm someone who's always changing, always wanna go live somewhere else. Like I think it's that like Gemini side of me that just gets bored easily and is super curious about everything so my interests change a lot as well. I need to let go of these pressures and expectations I put on myself in order to feel more at peace and accepting grateful of my current life stage because another thing that I was realizing was I was like oh my god I feel like I need to move to a different city or I need to move into a bigger apartment like I was like just feeling very unsatisfied with what I have right now but I think that was more stemming from my anxiousness and worries my second thing is abundance believing and trusting in the universe that will provide what I need when I need it in relation to my other like more future goals. There are never ending possibilities to generate money and sponsorship so don't be afraid to say no to things that you don't feel excited for or bring you stress. Sometimes there's like a sponsorship that's really cool, I really want to do it but they do this thing where um, they'll only pay you if you hit 120,000 views for example in 30 days and Part of me is like, oh, I really want to work with this company because I really like them. Obviously, I only work with companies that I like because, bitch, this isn't a landfill. We're not just throwing random products into my channel, okay? The viewership count really brings a lot of stress to me and I feel like destroys the authentic practice I would like to have when I'm creating my videos. Like, it basically really puts a fucking dagger into my creative process even if it's subconsciously. Actionable steps that I'm going to take in order to generate more abundance is practicing gratefulness for what I have every day by journaling or saying it out loud. Like I'm grateful for my beautiful sunny apartment. I'm really grateful for the community that I've been able to create on YouTube. Like I'm so grateful for all of you guys, but in days when I'm so concerned by numbers and like analytics like i totally lose sight of what i have what i've achieved and like it's such a disrespect to you guys and to myself and also abundance by letting go of constantly thinking about my goals or these numbers basically fuck numbers <laughs> we don't want them my last value slash feeling state slash guiding belief is authenticity Coming back to my true self, seeking what brings me joy, what is natural and unforced. Since I asked my mom, like, oh, why did you name me Wei Ran, like my Chinese name? Because Ran, the character, is literally nature. She was like, I just want you to be natural, like in everything that you do. I want things to come naturally into your life. I feel like sometimes we really grow up into what our names are. Maybe it's part of our parents manifestation onto ourselves by giving us this name i think i'm really most happy when i am in nature and i feel like i'm really in tune with myself doing things naturally not for others but for myself just letting go of comparison to others and in order to truly be my authentic self so my actual steps are spending more time with myself doing activities just for me that i enjoy to releasing worries about performance and numbers and statistics Three, spending less time consuming other people's content or just when I do watch their content, not to be comparing myself to them. And four, 
journaling, meditating, doing yoga. That is how I'm gonna be starting this week. Even though it's only Tuesday, I feel like you don't need to wait until the beginning of the next week to do this type of thing. You can even do it on a Friday, Thursday, Saturday, like whatever you want. Let's start this day, baby. I haven't like dressed up in a while or just like put on a cute outfit just for myself so I'm gonna do that today even though I'm basically just gonna be eating breakfast and editing. Although the tasks that I'm doing are very similar to what I've been doing the past weeks during my most stressed times, I think my intention is really important and I think dressing up a little bit will just help me feel like more happy. Wow. What did you make? Sweet and spicy lotus root, tofu and different vegetables sauteed together, and that's cabbage and tofu and cumin. Anna wants to work out again. Oh, really? Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, we should do Mad Fit. It was so fun. I was actually thinking about it. I want to do Mad Fit again with them. It was so mm. funny. Mm hmm. Not good too, eh? Yeah, it's all good. Mm hmm. Some nice hot oatmeal to start a cold morning. Here you go, sir. Wow, thank you. Running on only four hours of sleep because I spent a late night finishing up that workout one week transformation type video. But surprisingly, I'm feeling very energized. I woke up at nine o'clock after going to bed at like 4.30 and then had a very exciting call with a CEO of this really cool data-driven skincare personalized company that I'm so freaking excited about like graduating from UX design, branding design. It is like a f designer's wet dream, the strategy, the innovation. Like I'm so excited. I'm not even going to share the name right now because I want to wait until everything's set in stone. After that call at 1030, I jumped on a call with a friend who owns a acupuncture school and I'm gonna be doing like the creative direction and strategy for his rebrand so I'm getting one of my favorite designer friends to hop on to it and Andrew potentially coding the website as well so that is super exciting. I'm very picky with my design projects now because YouTube is, I guess, like my full-time thing but I mean, I thrive on doing a bunch of different things because I do get bored very easily so I'm really excited to jump onto a design project. Yeah. I just feel so much gratitude today, this morning. I feel grateful for being busy. <laughs> it's funny, I got this DM that was like, how did you choose what type of life you wanna live? Like a calm life, a busy life, work life, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm like, I don't know, I never thought about that, but just thinking about it while I was making breakfast, like I like a life with variety. I like when I have really calming days and I love when I have days when I wake up with back-to-back -back meeting calls and I'm just like feeling like a boss ass bitch. <laughs> now I'm just gonna finish my breakfast, 
drafting up a budget for the rebrand that I just need to quickly send over to the CEO. Um, and then I think I'm gonna have a really calm rest of the day since I started the morning with a bang. I need to do groceries. Anna wants to go to the thrift store, so I think we'll do all that together. It's a beautiful snowy day today. I seriously feel like my mood is so affected by the weather. Like if it's really sunny, I feel so good. If it's really snowy, I feel so good. But in between gray days, like all of last three weeks was just like... So wet. Yeah. But I think waking up early is so important now that daylight savings has changed because sunset happens at like 3 p.m. now. I've been seeing these like waking up at 5 a.m. morning routines and I kind of want to try it. Like one week of waking up at five every day. Let me know what you'll think. All the individual deliverables are up here. And then I just separated according to strategy, the visual deliverables and then web options. And you'll work with Sarah to do like the hierarchy and everything. Do we have mm. anything else to do it? Whole load of stuff at the front door. Is there anything that we need to buy for the home for this? Mm, I know. You got your winter tires on? Yep. Vroom <laughs> vroom. Hey Anna, do you want to try on anxiety for kids? <laughs> it's actually really cute though. Yeah. I am a child that experiences anxiety. Can we open this properly? It's so pretty. So nice. Tomatoes. Pumpkin. Almond milk. Almond milk. Almond milk. Sausage. Tofu. Yo choy. Mushroom. Pepper. Cabbage. Avocado. Oranges. Black soy bean milk. Bite card. Dumplings. Green onion, seaweed salad, bok, um, im, 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 bok, im, what the fuck is that? Igon. Oh, 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 uh, bok, bok, im, da, jang. Wow. Bok, is da, <laughs> Good job. Wow. So um, cook, cook, fan, jang. Yes. Cook and jang. Yes! <laughs> I feel so powerful. Yeah. I'm just gonna come to the grocery yes. store every day and just read random That's shit. That's what I do! Wow. This is good practice. Anna's $12 cereal taste test. It's amazing. Mm. I love it. What is your rating of it? It's got really good texture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just drop your food. I just spat it out. So. Mm, oh my god, I fuck with that. I know. It tastes so healthy. Mm -hmm. mm. I mm. ate this every morning in Japan. I believe it. While working out. It's, it's so good. This would be so good with like yogurt too. Yes, it mm -hmm. is good with everything. I think Wait, it's this is kind of crack cocaine. Yeah, this is usually I, fucked. I know. So yeah, so if I have a sex dream, it's like Really? Yeah. You have sex dreams? Yeah. Oh my god, Why do I get sex dreams? No. Because you get laid in real life. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I stir while you cut, okay? Okay, thanks. Oh my god. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, yummy. Yum. I love I metal. I love wounds. And so you still put it in. Digga, 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 yeah. I like to put in some random spices that smell good. Yay, I like do the same thing. I don't know what they are, but I know that they smell yummy. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Which does a really nice job of thickening everybody. And I'm gonna put vegetable TVP in it too. What's TVP? It's like um, vegan ground meat. Yeah. They yeah. expand a lot, so it's actually really great. Let me try the pasta. This is the TVP, by the way. TVP? So very healthy. Spicy it up a bit. Oh, you're right. Bam! And that's how you do the cooking. I don't like cooking with recipe because I feel like it takes a joy out of cooking. Do you be looking like meat. Let's put in some cayenne. Have you ever eaten lentils, like just lentils as like a side? Yeah, 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 motherfucker. Look at you now, look at me. 
Look at you now. Look at me. How you like that? I think this is my mildest hot sauce. What? I'm yeah. screaming. I'm oh. literally like that one part of my tongue is in pain. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you're filming. Okay. I saw you start. Okay, go back. Oh, oh shit. Shake your pose. Oh, 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 o